Hi, my name's Gay Hart and I'm an art therapist. I have a client and she suffered a stroke in 2012. She's given me permission to share with you some of the images and work that we've been doing together in some of the art therapy processes. Coming to art therapy is not something that you have to be an artist, that's certainly not the case. But in this instance for uh, Elle, it certainly was something that she had lost. I use a variety of different art modalities and mediums and I will try to use this video to show you as many different things that we have done. Her rehab was OT and physio and speech and when I first met with Al, it was noted by myself and by the information that I was given that she had aphasia which after you've had a stroke to the left side of the brain which controls language affects um, the way that people speak when they have aphasia and can muddle their words so it doesn't mean that they do not understand like Elle completely understands what's being said to her but she has a difficulty to just get the words out and she has her right arm has been um, paralysed so she's been having some treatment to help get the movement back. So speech therapy, occupational therapy um, and physio have been part of what she's been needing to do. And then the art therapy that's been put in place by myself has been to provide that motivation to, for her to get well and to have fun to do that but also to begin to have a sense of um, maybe how she's feeling. The first time that I met with Elle and her husband, who I will refer to as S, I found that there was a sense for both of them of not really knowing how the other felt. And because it was the first session, it was important for both of the, um, for S and L to, to have a sense of what art therapy was about. I think S, the husband, he was keen for it to happen, but I don't think he knew what was going to happen. So on that first occasion, after I'd first met them, and we had the referral, and I found out more information about who they were and what was needing to happen, I engaged both of them in at the first session and a first session for example can be just finding the, and exploring the materials, line, shape and colour and in the instance of Elle because she wasn't able to hold a pencil very well in her right arm it needed to be put in there and she needed to be able to move it with her other hand and it was difficult for her to, of course to communicate so the challenge was around being able to use art therapy as a means to express how one feels, but also a means as to being able to use the body and the parts of the body that you need to use when you're going to be creating images. Having her husband part of it to begin with was also important because he was able to express how he felt. So using cards with words, cards with feelings, tools for measuring, where you're at today, metaphors of half full, where you were on the ladder, feeling faces of sad or, or happy. It was really interesting in the beginning because there was a disparity where I could see that the husband had feelings about how he thought Elle felt and then Elle had different thoughts about how S felt and so using words they were able to be surprised and have a bit more of an understanding. So 
S was able to discover that his feelings and his worries were not as founded as what he thought because Al was actually just processing along at a, a steady pace and was feeling her, her level of feelings and expressing how she was going was a lot higher um, and feeling a lot better than what he was. That's it, yeah. What would you call it? Mm. Um, was, um, was a bow? Bow? A bow? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. What colour is it? Um, um, blue? Mm. Yellow? No. Sorry. Yellow? Can, so can you say yellow? But, uh, yellow. Um, bow, no. Ooh, a yellow bow. Yeah. A yellow bow. Yeah. A yellow bow. Yeah. That's a difficult one to say. Yeah. <laughs>